How's it going, eh? Hey, how are you guys? Good yeah. to see you, bud. Um, huge fan. It's been like a, a, it feels like a real surreal moment right now talking to you guys. I've been a fan of the show ever since I was a kid. Um, uh, so we've been a fan of yours since right now. <laughs> <laughs> He's cute. Uh, <laughs> He's super cute. Uh, pleasure to speak with you guys once again. Uh, my name is MC Pilot. Uh, work for the Disney Insider. We cover everything and anything Disney. I know I don't have ah. too much time. So, first and foremost, I'll just start off with my first question, which is uh, the very first episode. You guys, uh, once again, back, at, back like hit the ground running this season. You uh, start off in ancient Rome, and by the end of the episode, you're spoofing video games like Fortnite. So, how do you decide? And I guess Gabe, you'll probably be the best suited person at, to answer this question, but feel free to jump in if you guys know the answer too. How do you decide where the Animaniacs will go next? Uh, are, are, are the actors a part of this process? I mean, I imagine there's some sort of writer's room, but where do you guys come up with this stuff? We have, we have a writer's room just like every show, but also we try to involve the artists as well. Like if they have ideas, um, we come up with like a million premises and then some like, like half of them don't make it in and the other half do. And we kind of mix and match and, and make shows that like each segment isn't like, you know, different themes within the the same episode you know what i mean so it's not like there's nothing stepping on it on the other episodes or segments you know that's basically how we do it and and then sometimes unfortunately if things change then we have to shift everything around you know so but yeah that's how we that's how we do it they do an amazing job of picking balloons that they can pop basically <laughs> whether, they're, whether they're pop culture or politically oriented or whatever they are these guys are great at looking at events both current and historical that are ripe for maybe a reinterpretation and some making fun of you know yeah and i i, I agree i think you guys do a fantastic job at uh hitting it on the head every time now the next question for you I, i'd be remiss if i didn't ask you guys to do this um for tress and jess if you guys could tell people why they should watch this season in the voices of Wacko and Dot. Well, good Lord. Tress, you want, you, want, you want to go first? You want me to do it first? Well, I think it would only be the polite thing to do since Indeed. we've gone to all this trouble, all this effort. I got a new tutu. <laughs> I mean, I think it's only proper and just that you should make the effort to watch the cartoon, think about the cartoon, appreciate the cartoon, be with the cartoon. Well, in my opinion, you know all that stuff that you guys think is stupid? We think it's stupid too, and we're gonna make fun of it on television. Plus, if you binge watch the whole season at once, think of all the snacks you could have over that whole time period. <laughs> food, food, food. Oh, wacko. I'm just saying. <laughs> it's a miracle you don't weigh a thousand pounds. It sure is, man. I gotta tell you, thank God for Peloton. <laughs> <laughs> that was excellent that was excellent i love that all right and uh one of my final questions i know i don't have too much time left um when i was a kid i watched wacko's wish on repeat every year during the christmas uh season thanks man. i've always wondered are there any hopes or plans for another animaniacs movie what can we expect from these characters in the future Gabe, what do you think? Well, I mean, you got to ask Hulu for a movie, and we'll totally make a movie if they want to make one. We will totally yeah, make one. We are game. It, it, it would be amazing, man, because, you know, they're, they're, such, they're such sort of like, you know, somebody used the word evergreen. I think it was Gabe a minute ago. They're such evergreen characters that it would be beautiful to see them in that context again. That movie, The Wacko's Wish Thing, sort of came out of nowhere at the time, and a lot of people have said just what you just said, Dempsey, and thank we you. We did some that. huge acting in that, too. Yeah, we got to, didn't we? We, we were actors. Got, we, we were we actors stuff. in that. Man. Know, we, we, we thought you were gonna. We thought you were terminally ill, but it turned out you just wanted a beauty mark. <laughs> <laughs> the cough. That's the first time. Uh oh, De the cough. Destiny, listen, man, you never know what's ahead, and as long as you guys keep loving it, you never know what we're gonna bring you. Could we just hope to bring you more good stuff? fantastic and I, I couldn't agree with you more i do think the characters are evergreen i think it's a testament that you guys were able to bring it back after so many years and it was like you guys were never even gone so thanks man thank you. We, had a, we had a great team i tell you that yeah team effort team effort yeah indeed yes thank uh, you dancy pleasure speaking with you all take care you have too. a great day thanks, bye, everybody have a good one thanks thanks dancy bye <laughs>